Hi everybody. Today we're going over the final rinse temperature log and how you use this temp and hold thermometer that you can get from the warehouse. A reminder here, this is something that has to be logged daily. It is a requirement for the Spokane Regional Health District and you're gonna log that final rinse temperature at 160 degrees. You can order this waterproof thermometer from the warehouse and there's the warehouse order number and contact your supervisor if you have any question. Really, the operation is pretty simple. You press the start button here to turn on the thermometer. If you want to get the max hold temperature, you press and hold the button and you'll see that it shows that temperature, that's 175. You want that minimum temperature to be 160 degrees. And then after you've done that for the day, each day you need to clear it to get the new high temperature. You press and hold these two buttons until you see the three dots. It's cleared and ready to go for the next day. So that's how you find the max hold temperature, again, by holding that for three seconds. And then the way you clear it, you hold both buttons for three seconds, three, see the three dots, and then you're ready to go for the next day. My recommendation, when you start your dishwasher up in the morning, you're going to get it started, fill it, and then at least run one tray through because then the final rinse temp will get warmer. And to get this thermometer really up to temperature well and not have it blow around your dishwasher, I recommend putting it down on your tray, covering it, and then running it through. And then when you run it through, you'll have a better temperature read on your thermometer. A reminder too, you're gonna to log it each day, find your log, make sure it's logged so we have our information and it is ready to go. And we have done what we have to to make sure our final risk temperature is where the regional health district requires us. Thanks for doing a great job with sanitation.